J Drone here. What is going on? Have I lost my mind? Why do I have all this stuff out in my flight field? Well, I'm out here with my brother, who you probably can't see because of the sun, but uh, we are going to fly some drones. Um, the first one that we're going to do, I think, is I'm going to take him for a ride on that, on the J Drone, and uh, we'll be testing a 1500 milliamp an hour battery, a GNB. I haven't tested the battery yet. Hopefully, it's a good battery. Otherwise, I'm going to lose my drone. Um, after that, my brother's gonna fly his uh, Drocon bugs that I gave him on Yellow Jumper because he forgot his controller, but thanks to Jumper, that's not an issue. Uh, and then after that, I think I'm going to let him fly my carbon um, my carbon bugs on the one of one jumper that uh, Hobby Porter sent me. And then lastly, I'm gonna let him fly the 1505. Remember the live video just like a day ago? That arm was flopped over, it's super glued, it's ready to go. Um, and that goes off of that controller. My brother is going to be riding cockpit with the maker fires and I'm going to be flying with the fat sharks. Let's go. And we have liftoff. So I have sped this up by 2.5 um, just for the sake of time because this is a fairly long video. And my brother does actually fly FPV on the Bugs 3 Carbon. It will be his first FPV flight ever he did really well he did actually better than i did when i had started uh when i had started i had my wife out with me as a spotter and i took off and the drone was gone <laughs> the drone was gone um uh, we had to search for it and fortunately we were able to find it that was the starfall drone really cool drone race drone so a little bit stronger than the bugs three carbon a little run here um but uh all in all my brother did really well you'll see that coming up and you'll also see a crash coming up we are definitely going to crash the j drone because that's what we do with the j drone we crash it um very durable drone uh if you haven't checked out stan fpv do so he's on facebook he is on youtube that's the dude who created this drone for me um so this flight's just about over here and then we are going to get to the next drone which will be the drocon bugs you'll get to see my brother kind of buzzing around i don't know what all this flickering is <laughs> i mean this is from the the fat sharks maybe the dvr tripped up just a little bit um because it's definitely not from the drone uh or maybe my sd card i don't know but uh, we are going to do something which I generally very rarely do. And I was joking around with my brother when uh, I ended up doing it here. Um, saying, oh, we shouldn't fly over houses. Because he was in goggles with me. He was riding cockpit. And uh, sure enough, we were flying over and we crashed. That was fun. Even in the goggles, I was joking with my brother, don't fly over houses. And sure enough, I crashed like right after we got out of the houses. Um, I'm pretty sure it was my voltage, and uh, I don't have my on-screen display on the unit. Um, somehow, after installing the, the second Cadex, I had it, and then I don't have it. I don't know if I changed some type of settings or whatever. So I was flying a little bit risky there, not having my voltage on there. But uh, we're going to go ahead and uh, let my brother run the bugs. I'm going to let him run the carbon bugs. If you want to see that video, maybe I'll put it up top. You can click on it, how to do it. And then he's going to run the 1505. I'm done flying. I quit. Um, all him from here on out. All right. So, again, my brother messaged me. He's like, hey, you want to go fly? And I'm like, well, yeah, I want to go fly. Um, and he got to my house. He's like, oh, I forgot my controller. He forgot. He uh, brought the bugs. He brought uh, the outside. Press that button. No, it's not on yet. No, you're long holding. Just press it. There you go. J drone, bam. And the toggle he's hitting is channel six, which will turn off the lights. Channel five, which he's on right there. Up one. There you go. So we're not gonna watch this whole flight here, but uh, we'll get a little bit of lift off here. How's that feel compared to your normal controller? More power. Yeah. Should have a lot better controls on it too. Jumpers have a hall gimbals on it. All right guys, I'm gonna let him fly and I'll catch back up with you on the next drone, which will be the carbon fire one. All right, so my brother just got done flying that combo, which that has hull gimbals on it. And uh, that's a Drocon Bugs. I'm not sure what this was, um, if it was an MGX Bugs or a Drocon Bugs, but this is a Bugs. Uh, the only thing different from it, obviously, is placement. Propellers are CG035s. We have a beeper on it. That way, if we lose it, we can go walk around aimlessly and hit that. 
or we can just leave it on and then it'll go into panic mode. Should go in like three, two, one. Made a liar out of me. There we go. But we're gonna keep that off. That way when his LVC goes off, that'll also beep and I'll give him a little bit of notice. He's gonna be flying line of sight. He's not going in goggles with this. He could go in goggles with this. There's a 200 milliwatt on there, but uh, I'm gonna have him fly line of sight. He just flew that in line of sight. I have yet to do this where I've flown that and then came over and flown this to see what the difference is because essentially the controllers are the same. Um, minus the fact, I don't think this one has hall gimbals on it, but uh, all right, let's let's give him a go. Let's make sure. Bam's open. All right, we're good to go. He's good to go. Just gonna watch him for a little bit as he flies it. Same toggle up top to fire the motors. It's the same exact drone. Might have a little bit more power. You tell me. Cause you just got done flying the other one. Yeah. Yeah. That's uh, this build is 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 lighter than the original Bugs build. I'll try to keep my camera on the drone despite the fact the sun meow the props are a little bit smaller than uh than the stock bugs props we are using the same exact battery that he just got done using on uh on the drocon and there is just a little bit of vibration i could hear it in the props but the Alcemas props were the best that I had um, to put on this that really made this flyable. A set of Dow props like I have on my Alcema might be a better choice or a little bit chunkier. Go ahead, send it out there. And I don't know if you guys can see it still. It's kind of in that cloud formation. Um, he's out, he's over a hundred meters line of sight. And the drone is right there, somewhere, can't see it, sun. <laughs> so you definitely think it has more power? Yeah. Yeah, so he's done a direct side-by-side -side comparison, which I would like to do at some point, but I have yet to do. Um, so it's definitely a lighter build. Um, it's lighter. It definitely has more power because it's lighter. And uh, maybe the props have something to do with it. I don't think the props have something to do with it because the original Bugs props are a little bit more aggressive than these props are. But uh, all right, guys, we're going to let him fly this. And then the last bird we will cap off with is the Tarantula 1505, which is a completely brushed drone operating off a 3.7 volt battery versus this a two cell, the Drocon a two cell, a four cell, which was the J drone that we smacked into a tree and we're lucky we didn't get in water. Um, so we're going to end with a 3.7, but the, the 3.7, the 1505 with the green props on it, that weighs less than a tenth of a tenth of an ounce. I, I think it's like, I think it's like 0 0.10 or something, or 1.0 or I don't know. It's super light, so the thing actually moves pretty good for a brush drone. That one's up there. My brother's in the fat sharks, and he's just getting a little feel for some FPV. Kind of did a little yo-yo there. Just manage your left stick, manage your throttle. Going a bit high. Doing a lot better than I did my first time. A lot better than I did my first time. So yeah, you can completely turn around and your controls are no longer inverted now. Like you don't have to play with it inverted like you would if you're flying towards yourself line of sight because that automatically adjusts seeing line of sight with the drone. Just follow your paths on the ground. And as you can see, his first time doing this, bam, sits it down, kill motors. first time doing this he has his chin tucked down to his chest which is typically what most people do that's like the most comfortable thing to do um what'd you press 
Yeah, probably the record button. All right, we're gonna go up again. I'm gonna hit his throttle for him or his motors. But. Pretend like it's a video game. Just don't go too high and too far out. And me telling him not to go too high and too far out is not that this drone can't do it. It's just that I don't want to go hike through grass or anything to find the drone again because it does. It has a very loud beeper on it. Finding it wouldn't be an issue. And that's uh, why I decided to allow him to do this because I really like this drone. It's, you guys know, it took me forever to build this drone to finally get it right. And he's probably looking at himself right now. Yeah. <laughs> And this is in stab mode, he's not in acro, but again, it's just, I don't know, he, he was flying at line of sight, we did the side by side comparison, then I figured, what can possibly go wrong here? Um, if he crashes it into grass, which hopefully he doesn't do, it's all the way out there, he has it about 100 meters, um, we could just hit the beeper and we can go find it. And that's also why I'm not in goggles, that way I could kind of be a watch person and kind of keep an eye on the drone. That way, if it does come down, we have a basical, basic, yeah, basical. Hmm, I love basicals. They're ice cold. They have cream in them. Um, basically, be able to see where it is and then fire the motors. So he's doing pretty good. He's doing really good. Watch, you're gonna hit yourself. <laughs> Go forward. Or you, you, you have the you have the front facing us. There you go. <laughs> and with this, there is no on-screen display, just like the J drone, because I don't know how I disabled that. Um, but this will also beep at you uh, pretty loudly, even at 100 meters. We should hear it, because that's the proximity that he's kind of flying in, which I kind of told him kind of stay in this field and this field is generally 100 meters out any which way and he's up pretty high you're up really high come back down do you have your orientation mm -hmm. okay he was sky cruising he was up probably about 200 250 feet <laughs> and at that point i don't have my glasses on so being able to see it kill motors and the reason you kill motors is as soon as you drop your drone so you don't blow out ESCs, especially if it's restricted, like we're going to go over here. And as you can see, one of these motors probably would have been heavily restricted on this. But all right, we're going to let him finish flying like this. There's probably still more juice in this. It didn't start beeping. And as you can see, he's had two hard landings. Then Nothing's wrong with it. We got a little bit of shrubbery right there. But uh, all right, we're going to... So as you can hear... Bring it closer, Sean. As you can hear, we have and kill motors. Kill motors. There you go. Um, we have an audible beeping sound. And good thing he didn't land in that water. Close. <laughs> didn't think about that. Um, but that's what's beeping. And the reason it's beeping is because the LVC, the lights are blinking on it and that gives you an alert hey it's time to land so uh here stand over there first fpv fight awesome what'd you think pretty fun what else elaborate exciting man i just wanted to keep going i know he he <laughs> he we we talked about it where he was staying in this 100 meter radius he probably hit maybe two 250 <laughs> maybe 300 he went over did you go over top of that tree line yeah, I yeah. went all the way out. Yeah, he went I'll over top of the tree line. And here, hold on. We're going to stop his recording. There we go. Um, but yeah, he was way out there. And again, I don't have my glasses on. I can see, I can still see pretty good without him on. But he was way over out top there. And I was like, all right, you might want to come back. <laughs> and, and not that this doesn't have range. Because again, the battery. Hold on, we'll pull the battery if we can. Yeah, pull that battery. Just hold this and pull that. 
Okay, so the antenna for this is what's sticking up there. That's the drone's antenna. And the FPV, we know that AIO, AKK, 200 milliwatt, that's got range for days. So as far as FPV, he was good. But as far as the bugs, because again, this is that drone. And the antenna on this one is right there. Um, that's, that's what's sticking up there. And the reason I did that is so any direction we turn, that's an aerial antenna now and it'll always have contact with the controller okay we got one more to go we're gonna get them set up on a brushed one this is the smallest drone it's the lightest drone it's the most toyish but i think he might be a little bit surprised by this because again if you guys don't know we'll zoom in the 1505 is is a game changer and was a game changer for for brush drones, especially 3.7s. Um, so we'll get them set up on that and then we'll go. Alrighty, last up on the list is the Tarantula 1505. It has striker props on it. Easy there, buddy, you forget how to fly a drone? <laughs> He's flying FPV and he don't know how to fly a line of sight no more. All right, go ahead, straight up, there you go. So this has uh, the glow in the dark striker props on it. Yeah, watch your y'all. <laughs> it, uh, it goes into like a tornado spin. He is in the third speed setting. And I mean, it's not crazy, but it's a 3.7 volt drone. And I think it's really rather impressive for a 3.7 volt drone. It's not jumpable. I don't think it's jumpable. I think I've tried to jump all my old school drones on the jumper. So we're stuck with a stock transmitter. You know, the transmitter that Birdman guessed and got a free DM009 off of me. Um, during the live feed and again, this is the same exact drone that had the floppy arm. I used Gorilla Glue it's back in the air. That's the same thing that I used uh, When we crashed the Bugs 2 into the Taj Mahal in Atlantic City Brought it home had it up the very next day. But all right guys. I'm J drone. What's your YouTube handle? You changed it I know you did oh God. He don't even know his YouTube channel um, his handle. He doesn't post often. He has a really good Al Senma setup uh, feature video, how to set it up and whatnot. But we'll link his YouTube down below. I'm going to try to get him his DVR flight um, on the carbon bugs and uh, send it to him on zip file. Hopefully he'll load that. I plan on loading all of this into one video because um, it's his first time flying FPV. I had another crash with the J drone. Should just name that drone Crash. Um, Bam. <laughs> um, and then what else did we do here? First FPV, we did a side-by-side -side comparison of the bugs. Um, the lighter carbon fiber bugs, he says, is better and is, is uh, which one call it, is faster. And that's what he was flying FPV in for the first time, too. So uh, that was fun. It was a nice, nice little outing with my brother flying some drones. Still out here. Sun's about ready to set. Little spin, spin, spin a roo. Right into the grass. Nope, he saved it. He saved it. It's a little off balance because of how many times that front arm has been glued. So the left front arm stands a little bit taller than the right one does. So that's kind of why we have wobbles. When it was brand new, it'd just spin like a top. But, um, Anzo, yes. The tornado spin. I think I have a video just dedicated to the spin on this. Or like it had a, like a 30 second clip on the spin on this and this gets good range too i was just telling my brother and I, i'm pretty sure the video is on youtube where uh i flew this all the way over into mcadoo doing a uh doing a flight like a altitude flight when i used to do altitude flights all right guys i'm jay drone if you haven't subscribed smash the subscribe button look down below for my brother's youtube channel um some crazy funnels going on there and uh, we'll catch up with you on the next video. Later.